Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Hardcore. Last night I went out and gathered up a bunch of gas for the mini bike, so we should be good for that today. Let's see what Trader Wright has and if he has any tier 4s that I could possibly do right now. Oh. Uh, that one's quite oh, close. Cool Mortician's house? Maybe. Yeah, what about you? Installation Blue Ridge. That one, no I couldn't do that one. This one is relatively close, but Fort Camo is another bad idea. And then there's a bunch of infested and far away ones. Plus some tier twos. Let's do the mortician's house. Why? Surprised. Well, because I'm very familiar with it, so I should be able to handle it regardless. But could be a bad idea. Let's go find out. All right, here we are at the mortician's house. Let's start this, and then I'm going to jump it onto this wall because there's a bunch of zombies that are already aggroed to me. Oh, there's a dire wolf. Okay, bye. Pleasure doing business with you. I will go to another location entirely. Goodbye. Mm -mm, nope. I mean. Surprisingly, I'm still in the PY radius. Maybe we could do it. A dire wolf. I know it's always a chance of that happening, but it's really shitty that it did happen. There's a vulture over here. So it doesn't look like the dire wolf actually counts as part of this POI. It looks like it was part of the original version of the POI, and then when I reset, that was just here. Which is good, because it means I don't have to kill it. But I'll probably have to kill it to get into the POI, so it might be a moot point. Let's just play some Floor is Lava while we figure out where the hell it went. I just failed at Floor is Lava, but I am an adult and we're bad at those kinds of games. Where the fuck did it go? Oh, there it is. Right, well, the plan is very simple. I'm going to shoot it and get its attention. Uh oh. Oh, it's loaded with slugs, one second. I'm going to jump up a few blocks higher because I kind of don't trust that. I know, the flashlight will help. It looks like it is marked as part of the PY again, that's weird. Would you come over here? Well, let's load another Mega 762. Now oh, he just chewed right through that, huh? Hold still! Think they give this thing enough health or do need more? People wonder why I get on pillars to fight shit. Games filled with enemies like this. What the fuck are you doing now? Yeah, you really taught that pole a lesson. There we go. We got a red loot bag. What do we have? Two armored ups, a rifles, and some other somewhat useful stuff. Wasted a bunch of ammo, but I'll be fine. Now we can go do the actual POI. That was a good, like, five minutes of my time wasted. Hello. What do we got up here? Is that a soldier? Oh no, it's just Mo with a weird color. Oh, just him today. Sometimes you get two. Now this room through here is another one where I'm going to be liberally applying the shotgun because bikers are a pretty common enemy in these couple of rooms. Oh, and a lumberjack, even better. Oh, nice. I just shot through both of them. I love shotguns. Shotgun magazine, we can make a slightly better one now, but I'm just going to wait for like a pump action or something. No point wasting my resources on that kind of thing. No bikers in here. Good, good, good. Always what I like to see. Let's aggro her as well while she's down there. Probably worth it. Any books? Forge ahead, nice. We'll keep storing those until I've got the nerd outfit. Or until I have enough to just get through it in one go. Bunch of businessmen in here, generally. Just three. Are they all aggroed? No, he's confused and he doesn't even know that he's supposed to come up this ladder. That's kind of odd. There you go. That was effective. Right, can we get a view on any of the other ones? 
They all had brown suits. All the different colours in the game and they all had brown suits. 42 on the armour, that's doing much better now. Usually get a vulture out here somewhere. Hey buddy. Just the one today. Let's see if we can do some of this here. Oh, the glass. Hmm. Can I not break the curtain? I guess they saw me doing the funny thing and they want to make it harder. Yeah, that would do it. I meant to hit the other one, but that works. Falcon book I already know, okay. A couple of garment bags, those sometimes have good stuff in them. Not this time it looks like, yep. Another bookcase. Armour and food. Make sure we bash this in. I might have to break this little plant pot holder stand thing. Pedestal. Inator. And then get to the sealed shipping right here. With probably nothing in it, but it's worth a shot. Incredible, incredible, nothing at all. See a first aid bandage for some of that healing. More books though, this is a good POI to get a bunch of bookcases in. Doesn't guarantee you'll get books though, but you know. This room can be a bit scary, but we should be okay. We just do that. Maybe do this. And then, oof. Doing the little annoying thing that I hate so much. No, we need a shotgun blast for these guys. He's got too much health. Didn't expect them to one shot that door, I'm not gonna lie. Did she fall over? Yeah, I get stunned, lol. We got a skill point there as well. Let's see what we can put that into. Um, I might just want to hold on to it and get more intellect to push Grease Monkey up to eight. Yeah, I'll probably just do that. There's nothing else I need currently. When I need more stuff, it will be a full respec out of intellect. Oh, pistol, nice. Um, that helps me quite a bit actually because I've been carrying nine mil without the ability to fire it for a while. That is a decent upgrade. I don't have any food on me. I'm used to having the chili dogs. So we're just going to have to do the rest of this without food. Although there are a few food containers in the next room, so we may get lucky there. Ah, forge head, nice. Some dog food. I mean, it is food. It'll probably turn off the food modifier for a couple of seconds. We've got one guy there. And a guy next to him that could be a biker, so we have to be careful. But it's just an Arlene, so we're good. Another bookcase. God, it's dark in here. Right, coming up on the last two rooms here. So far, so good for a tier 4. Couldn't expect it to go much better than this, to be honest. Hello. Don't you exhale at me. Anybody else? Oh, yeah, someone hiding back here. Another Grey Among Us crewmate. Bunch of glue. Oil. Chemistry station with a vitamin, ha ha ha, very funny. Give me a beaker of poppin' pills, great. Probably going to need one soon. Oh, not a beaker, but a bunch of other stuff that's probably kind of useful. What's this? After getting hit, uh, the movement speed after getting hit is nice, I guess. Break these, I can't remember if these do actually give you acid if you break them, but it's worth a shot. Um, Right, this room here does actually have some acid stuff for me. We take out these battles because one, they give me a chance at acid, and two, they'll explode and kill me instantly if I'm not careful. So, two birds, one stone. What I'm worried about in here is just, yeah, there's a feral white, and there's a uh, tourist. Not a fun room. Not a fun room at all. I'm going to try and drag a few, like one at a time. That's an unfortunate stun. Oh, and I'm infected, of course. Get some money. 
aggroed someone else, but one at a time was ideal, so get over here then. Come here. Oh, he's feral. <laughs> right, we might just have to go loud then. Or he's forgotten I exist and I have a few seconds. Let's see. Let's invite him in up. Hit the door. This might be a case of me running through this whole damn building, shutting doors behind me. Can't expect to get through a tier 4 without any battles. It's just optimistic. Too optimistic. We dealt with a better light before them. Fucking shot the door. Right, let's go find another door to hide behind. That's not an ideal door at all. I mean, if I can get them to like chase me up the stairs, that would be great. If we do it here, they'll kind of get stuck on a bunch of spikes, so that'll work in my favour. They just do it. There we go two down. It's just the Feral White now. What's he trying to break through? Though? Mr. Feral White, where are you? What are you trying to do? Oh wait, he broke something. He broke something. Hang on, hang on. Where is he? Come on! We some valuable daytime here. No idea what's correct. <laughs> that door would function. These doors would somewhat function. This door definitely does function. He's stuck on the stairs. Aha! He's broken himself down there. Wasting all my damn ammo, but that's what barrel weights are for. Oh, we did the jump. Run away! That didn't work. Close the damn door. There we go. Wouldn't take my interactions. There we go. I had to get one hit in, didn't he? Any lockpicks? I've got two. It might be enough to open this chest. Come lucky. Be nice. Oh. Well, we'll come back here when we've got more lockpicks. There's only a couple of tier fours in the neighborhood. I'm sure I'll remember. Forge ahead and some steel. I'm not gonna waste my whole day smacking at that container. By the way, that's just a terrible idea. With the amount of damage I can do. Another forge head and some more steel. May get lucky with a couple of these trash bags, maybe some luck picks. Nope. Alright, no luck there. Ah, I'm gonna have to axe my way out of this. I always I just accidentally repaired it as well, fuck's sake. I always forget to bring a shovel to this end room. Alright, let's go see what we got for my first tier four job. The rewards are notoriously terrible though, so unless I get like five thousand gas, which would be really useful for me right now, not very likely to be anything good. But they may surprise me. That's why I was suggesting we just do tier 3s and just hammer them out quicker, because they're harder and you get worse rewards for tier 4s. Yeah, the speaker I'll take, but that's only useful once. Um, oh yeah, I left the game between the start of the Mortician's House and me thinking, so these are reset. I still don't really want to do any of these, so it doesn't really affect much. Mm, there's a fetch, though. If you want a job I'll take a me, fetch. I'd say it's been an honor to work with you. So that'll but help. Be I need to buy some food, because I don't have any. Does he have anything good? Rather than well, wasting loads of money on... To show their face again. Let's get, like, a vegetable stew. It's got All decent right, health and food and stuff. I'll go drop some stuff off, and then we'll go do this tier 3. So that is me up to 65, so that'll get me up to 68. Decent progress, decent progress. Yeah, that was an easy tier 4 and it still nearly went horribly wrong because I'm just kind of under-equipped, particularly in the armor and weapons department. But my armor and weapons can't go anywhere until I've got good crafting capabilities, which is what all the Forge Heads are about. There we go, we're up to 22 of those sitting in here now. But at least we did secure a beaker. So we can make a chemistry station once I have the technology. I have everything else I need, I think. But I want to maximize the lock picking boost, so we're not doing that for a while still. We're getting there on armors, pretty pretty decent. It might be worth making a basic nerd outfit soon and having some heavy armor. But right now I'll be fine. I'll wait until at least level four to craft any armor, because kind of not very good until then. So <laughs> leave me alone. Right, let's start this. Hmm, should I double loot the gun room? Let's see. We've got time. 1200 on that. This is probably the quickest way to just break through the like 2400 health on these two stone walls. Go away. Yep, come help me break this block. Nope, you're just gonna stay obsessed with the door. 
I should probably just kill them then. I guarantee I'm going to get nothing from this, but it's worth the shot. Some steel bolts and, or sorry, iron bolts and handgun parts. We will need handgun parts eventually, so that's good. A little bit of 44 magnum. What's this? Raider gloves. More melee damage. That's actually very tempting. Plus the 5% damage resistance. Hmm. The speed kind of sucks, but for just one piece of heavy armor, I can live with that, I think. And then we can put my... We can't put banded armor plates on heavy armor, right? Yeah, I forgot they made that change because they're fucking stupid. So 13.5 versus 17.8 plus 10% melee damage. I think I'll take the armor then. The speed shouldn't be too much of a big issue at this stage. Bunch of clothing racks. Not a whole lot in them. Anybody home back here? Uh, nothing on the office shelf, unfortunate. Right, that's all that's in this room. The end loot's through here, but I don't feel like fighting the end loot room twice, so let's start the quest again and go get the satchel, and then I might do that room again. Oh, just corn milk. What? I feel like it might be better for me to just dig under. Nope. Too slow, zombies. I'm already out of here. And apparently, I've put all my wood away, so I'm going to pick up these blocks in case I need them. <laughs> Would it be worth doing that room again? Mm, not right now. We can come back and do that anytime I want, though. The mobility penalty of this new heavy armor is massively helped by the fact that I now have a mini bike, so I don't have to worry about it anywhere near as much. Still have to worry about it in combat, but there is an urban combat book that I might find at some stage, or I may even already have it, I don't know. Yeah, I don't already have it. But I might find it, which will completely remove the armor penalty when you're in combat. Combine that with a vehicle and you basically have no reason to not wear heavy armor. Except for just if you want a specific bonus of a light armor set, I suppose. Which we might use um, later on in the series. We might um, adapt this into like a partial night stalker build, if you've seen that video of mine. It came out before they kind of changed how stealth work again, but... Probably still works decently well, just probably not like do the entirety of Deshong Tower one hit killing everybody on the hardest difficulty with Feral Sense on with one suit of armor. It's probably decently well more balanced now, but it's probably still good I would imagine. And considering how I want to conserve ammo in this playthrough, yeah, stealth playstyle would make sense later on. Let's take some steel, because it's a bit of a bitch to get to be honest. And you got any more? This one's kind of close. Mason Farms, that's a decent one. We got time during the day, so it makes sense. So that will get us up to 71. Not bad, not bad. How many more books till I get the decent armor, though? That's the real question. This is level 3, so armor is unlocked in another 16 books. I'll be sticking with my level 1 Raider gloves for a while then, I guess. Still can't grumble out 10% more melee damage. It's all very, very helpful on insane difficulty, where zombies are obviously very tanky. Hmm, when do we unlock steel clubs? Because that's when that's really going to go very well for me. I need... Looks like 11 more to unlock level 1 steel clubs, which would be completely worth making until level 6, of course. 11 more is not that hard to get, considering I have a bunch of points in the clubs. So that's probably... The next major piece of equipment I'll craft, unless something weird happens. Oh, hungry again, goddammit. Keep forgetting I don't have that old shit to rely on now. I'll probably be okay. Anyone home? They didn't answer me, how rude. See someone's leg. That wasn't what I was trying to do. But we've aggroed someone else, so I'll take advantage of that, I suppose. No, 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 I won't take advantage of it, because I'm a moron. That is a cheap shot. That's the cheapest of all the shots. You got that shot from a dollar store. And you returned it after you were done with it too. I got any... I don't have any honey or anything on me. Let's just do a normal heal then. Oh, 
I've got regular antibiotics back at my base, so I will be fine. It's kind of just annoying, though. You know what? I could put that two armor plates on one of my other things here. Let's see. I think I would rather 2% damage resistance than 1 inventory slot. I think that's the choice I'm going to make. Even if the difference may be genuinely imperceptible. Any dog out here? Hmm, I don't trust. I'm sure my guns are loaded. I forgot to bring spare 9 mil, but I've got plenty of other ammo. I'll be good. Hi there. That is not where I was aiming. <laughs> well, it was where I was aiming. It's not where I was aiming to aim. You know what I mean? It wasn't where my eyes were aiming. Oh, a lumberjack, wonderful. At least I had popped him instantly. Let's run past him. Shotgun was made for giant zombies with twice as much health as everybody else. They're made literally. There we go. Something in there, definitely. Well, that's an unfortunate dodge. Oh, I thought you could break through there. Let's smash this down with the axe. Oh, that's not an axe. In a cosmic sense, it's an axe. But this is more what I was meaning. Attachment and two armored ups. Nice. Oh, I thought she was up the stairs. What the fuck? Oh, there's another one in here. Hiding behind the cupboard, behind the cupboard. How devious. Well, that's a lot of you. Was that a fucking feral white I just saw? I'm going to pull on my advice of let's just be careful and do it this way. You never know. If you think you saw a feral white, you should probably just run. Because you don't want to be right. And have not ran. That was unfortunately timed. I think I saw her. Club is doing very well when I actually, you know, bother to hit the enemies with it. What can I say? I didn't play for like a week. <laughs> and get in there, but that's fine. We might find more lockpicks in the rest of the POI. Why are these things so weirdly shadowed? Batter up. Clubs last longer. Nice. And armored up. Almost at 50 on those. And shotguns. Cool. Let's eat a bandage, I suppose, and clear the other half of this POI. Who is being annoying down here? Didn't even get affected by the fact he was smacked in the head with a club, but he just hit me anyway. You have to love it. This is a very suspicious little room. Hmm, I see one. I could use that to get a marker. Oh, they're both crawlers as well. This simplifies matters. Whoa. You're so sneaky, though. They'll assassinate you. There we go, we're done. Any lockpicks for me, game? Oh, a glue. I hate when it lies about being clear like that. And shotgun book again. Plus some rifle parts that might be useful eventually, I don't know. Not a big sniper rifle user on any build that isn't a perception build. Well, no lockpicks again, so again, we'll just have to remember that there's loot here if I come past it again with some lockpicks. Let's go get a reward from Wrecked and then see if I've got, like, honey lying around anywhere. Also, take note of the fact I've used about half a tank of gas for about a day's worth of questing. And I can get two tanks of gas for a night's worth of trapping. So we should be good on gas. Now that you Let's did see, job, what do you have? Ooh, we'll take 60 shotgun shells. It's always good. Any other good quests? Now nah, these are all kind of far away. I might just have to be up for today then on those quests. Got any good food wrecked? I could buy fish tacos, that would do a lot of healing and food for me. There's not much good to buy anymore, so I don't feel bad paying like 300 dukes for like one food item anymore. Ooh, two shotgun weeklies. Hmm. Custom things mod, a double armor pocket mod. Ah, the mods are just so expensive though, it's never worth it. Got some regular antibiotics, I will buy one of those. I'll buy both of them actually, I don't need them. I have some at my base, Be careful out there. you never know when you are going to need them, so that's just a smart choice there, to have that available to me for, you know, 1400 dukes. Price of a mod! I would say that these are probably more convenient for me. 
come back to my base really quickly. I probably don't have time to go to another Raider Rect and see what he has, unfortunately. Okay, well that was a pretty good haul for my various looting today. We got that beaker, which is really nice. That'll save me a lot of hassle later on in the game. Have I got any just like honey, or am I just going to have to bite the bullet and eat a full-on antibiotic for that? I mean, I could go hunt one down. I've got a couple of hours. We could try a few billion tree stumps and then decide if I want to use the thing. So let's try that. Have I got... I've also got the ability to get them from trees, but it's not really any more efficient because... I'm not very good at chopping down trees with this build. <laughs> I don't have much Miner 69er, so it wouldn't really help me all that much. So I'll just keep an eye out for tree stumps, because at least with tree stumps it's like 100 health. You can break it in 3 or 4 hits and then be like, oh, this wasn't the right one. I also have this quest anyway. And we get a little marker that tells me where they are, so that's kind of nice to have for the time being. And if it goes over 5%, I'll just eat an antibiotic. My only option really anyway. Don't have any hairballs. Really? One hit and I got an abrasion? I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna be like harvesting cars for the next half an hour anyway. What a pain in the ass. At least I get a little bit of extra wood from this as well, which I do need more of. No luck there, but there's another one marked over here. Oh, there's two over here. That is badly timed. I'm gonna end up like hitting me over the 5% at this rate. There we go. That was a relatively short trip of doing all this to be honest. Usually it takes me like 20 to get one. A real pain in the ass actually. But we saved, you know, 700 dukes worth of antibiotics for another instance where I can't be bothered doing this. I'm just gonna leave the abrasion. It's not like a particularly dangerous condition it just reduces your max health a little bit i could eat a first aid bandage but i'd really just rather wait <laughs> by the time you get to like the 15 minute mark you're like losing three max health which isn't a big deal at this stage in the game so what i'm gonna do is during the night i will scrap some cars get more gas to keep on top of it i'm not short on gas but i know i can very quickly become short on gas especially when i get to the motorcycle stage of the game which is approaching a decent speed right now so that's something I need to be prepared for. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you're looking for a 7 days to die server, consider using the link in the description with level up hosting. I'll make a commission if you do so, so it'll support the channel. Other ways to support the channel include my memberships or Patreon who get early access to videos when I can provide it. So if that interests you, check out those links in the description anyway. Thank you so much for watching episode 11 of Hardcore and I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully, these videos this week have been much more consistently put out than last week, where I uploaded, I think, once, aside from the little Minecraft video that took me two seconds to make, so I didn't really count. Anyway, see ya.